You would doom our world to save your own? If there is aught you would say, say it. Otherwise, be gone. You have no friends here. Hello, welcome, or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr, and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art, or music, then you should subscribe because that is what we do here. Also, if you don't mind tossing a like up on this video, that super helps us out. Just jump right into it! Go for it. Oh, Look at that waterfall. Well, this place is interesting. Oh, that's always fun. Oh my gosh, run, guys! Oh my gosh, what is this with this balloon? Let's go. How exhilarating. Oh, okay. The big boy. Big daddy bird. Ha 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 ha, got him. Okay. <clears throat> Ugh. Oh, I leveled up. <laughs> nice. So they were unable to see the ritual to its completion. Then Garuda is no longer a threat, and whatever the Asians and the Warriors of Darkness were planning has come to naught. But we should not tarry. The Knights have secured our path to safety. Well, well. What do we have here? You'd better not have killed the Primal without us. Not these guys. Wait, who's that guy? <laughs> you! Wait, I know you! Still walking, I see. I could have sworn my aim was true. Just what is your game? Leading us a long way so these fools could step in and claim our prize? No, oh, no. Let's not make hasty accusations. By the look of things, the ritual was proceeding as planned. We arrived at the appointed hour. It was they who erred. It is hopeless. We cannot face them all. Do mine ears deceive? A boy! So that's the way of it! Twins! You had me worried for a moment there. It's funny that they're like, they reference that, because they do look exactly the same. Know that I will happily make it quicker for you, if you just stand still. So rude. Enough, Jarumu. We wouldn't want to upset the man in white with any unnecessary bloodshed now, would we? You've been awfully busy since we were kind enough to spare your lives. While you were idly consorting with the Asians, you mean? Seven hells! What could you possibly hope to achieve? Should I explain it to you? Very well. 
Consider it a reward of sorts for beating us here. You know the tale of Hydaelyn and Zodiac, I take it? Of the great sundering and the reflections it created? Across ten and three they were divided, reflections of the source, each possessed of shards of light and dark. Just so. One of those reflections, the one nearest to the source, is our home. And we were the heroes blessed with her light. But not all worlds hold light and dark in equal measure. In ours, the power of light was greater by far. So the Asians who once threatened our home were no match. And they fell before us, one after another, till none were left. Victory, we thought. And then came the light. A flood of pure, blinding radiance, annihilating shadow and color and life itself. Ere long, it will consume our world, leaving naught in its wake but blank perfection. That... that cannot be. Do you honestly expect us to believe such a story? Believe what you like. But it has happened before on a world far removed from ours. The 13th, which was swallowed by the dark and transformed into what you call the Void. Unchallenged light would condemn us to a similar fate. And so we joined hands with our former enemies, and with their aid came here, to the Source. For there is but one way to restore the balance and save our home. The Arda. Calamitous destruction with the power to break down the barriers between planes and see our worlds rejoined. You would doom our world to save your own? What would even become of us? Of you? Enough. I tire of talking. You know our cause. You know what is at stake. We are prepared to do whatever it takes. Are you? And a jerk. If there is aught you would say, say it. Otherwise, be gone. You have no friends here. Okay, then. Bye. Yeah. All things considered, we should be grateful to have survived that encounter. Do you think it could be true? That to save the world, they must bring ruin to ours? No. No, it matters not. Such wanton destruction is beyond justification. Whatever their reasons, they must be stopped. The sacrifice, the loss, it ends here. Well, in that case... Forgive me, this is neither the time nor the place for idle introspection. The knights can apprise Lord Edwell of our success, and we the Lord Commander. More importantly, I should like to see if my sister's condition has improved. You may take a moment for yourself if you wish. I will be at the congregation. Let's blow this popsicle stand! So, basically, the darkness people think they're doing the right thing to save their world, and we think we're doing the right thing to save our world. That's what I got. Anyway. I'm not so sure how I feel about that. Let's go see if Sissy is okay. Hello, Emmerich. It brings me joy to see you safely return to us, Burr. What news from Zelfa Toll? I like how the table's cut out. So you can stand in it. That's interesting. <laughs> no, you are not too late. On behalf of Ishgard, I offer you my deepest thanks. As for who we as for we who remain behind. Mistress Yistola has been tending to Mistress Alizé in your absence, and I am pleased to report that she has regained consciousness. I imagine you have many questions, especially given your recent encounter with the Warriors of Darkness. I know I do. Come, let me show you to her room. Do not worry, her condition is much improved. She is a resilient one, much like her brother.
<laughs> Alize, how are you feeling? Well enough, brother, thanks to the kindness of our hosts. When they told me you had departed for Zelfatol, I found that I could rest. The outcome seemed a mere formality, as did your safe return. Thank you, my friend. I take it your mission was a success. As if we needed any further confirmation that they are in league with the Assians. But to save another world? I think not. I too thought his story fanciful at first. But it is possible there may be a kernel of truth in all of this. At the very least, none of his claims contradict the word's account. Thank you, JC. <laughs> You were following these people, Alize. Why? During my travels, I had often enjoyed tales of the Siams and their exploits. But after a time, I began to hear whispers of a gifted and theretofore unknown band of adventurers. Adventurers who had supposedly sworn to travel the realm slaying primals in the Siams' stead. The Warriors of Darkness. And in the course of investigating these rumours, you stumbled upon the Asians' involvement. Yes, exactly. Forgive me, but if these warriors of darkness mean to bring about another calamity, to what end do they hunt primals? To prompt an escalation to deepen the Beast Tribe's feelings of helplessness and despair, and thereby drive them to summon ever more powerful gods. And lest we forget, these events do not occur in isolation. With their patron deities being slain left and right, the news of man's victory over Nidhogg must surely have sown panic in the minds of the Beastmen. Tis no wonder they wish to defend themselves. Power answered with greater power. Death with more death. A vicious cycle fueled by fear and hatred. I know it's like all too well. Indeed. The Asians sow discord and desperation, and the warriors of darkness reap the harvest. And so it continues. Yet that is not the extent of their ambitions. The Asian himself observed that once the powerless realize that the old gods have failed them, they will have little recourse but to look to a new one. We cannot let that happen. It should come as no surprise, but Alize and I have uncovered evidence that the Asians have been manipulating certain parties to ensure that a constant stream of crystals flows into the hands of the beast tribes. If we sever these supply lines, we should at least be able to slow the escalation. Agreed. Kral and I shall journey to Zelfatol and learn what we can of the Ixar's source. Then I, for my part, pledge to lead a similar investigation into the origin of the Nath supply. Sir Emmerich? As a member of the Eorzean Alliance, Ishgard is on a bound to play an active role in maintaining the security of the realm. You might also say that I have some personal motivation, given the Asians' dealings with my father. However, I make no secret of the fact that my knowledge of primal beings is scant at best. As such, I should be most grateful if one of your order were to assist me. Allow me, Sir Emmerich. I have dealt with the Nath before. Let us consult with Orianja, then. Given his dedication to the study of primal beings, I should be surprised if he could not tell us something of value. Allow me to accompany you, brother. And before you think to refuse, know that I am not the girl I once was. I shall not be a burden. You have my word. But, Alize, you... You are more than welcome. After all, it was you who set us upon this path. Wait a minute! 
I'm afraid I can't allow you to leave just yet. Not until you try on the new outfit I prepared for you. Dressing everybody up. Slowly but surely. <laughs> to think that the three of us plumbed the depths of the coils and confronted Bahala himself. Had I not been there, I would struggle to believe it. Shortly after we parted ways, I heard that she had taken to the road on her own, apparently on a journey of self-discovery. Precisely where to, I never learned, though I suspect that was by design. So she enjoyed hearing tales of our exploits, did she? <laughs> oh, my apologies for keeping you waiting. <laughs> I like her outfit. So snazzy. <laughs> right then, shall we be off? Tattoo never ceases to impress. Though for a moment I feared she might furnish you with an identical outfit. <laughs> Face the child she did not. Mother and father were rather too fond of making us wear matching clothes. Do you remember that time at the studio when that girl of yours crept up behind me in the hall and whispered? <laughs> Sister, please. She was not my... Ahem. Can we not have this conversation in front of the warrior of light? <laughs> so be it. Another time, perhaps. To be honest, Burr, I wasn't planning on seeking you out just yet. When I set forth on my journey, I did so with grand ambitions. As you may recall, I promised I would not disappoint you. I pray you will forgive me if I do. It's a pleasure to have you. It's my pleasure. New garments aside, I must say that you seem different, more resolute than when we last met. You have the look of a woman who is ready to fight for the future of Eorzea. To the extent of my abilities, perhaps, but I have no delusions of grandeur, nor will I pretend to have found myself for any such thing. I am here today because I would regret it if I weren't. That is all. Fair enough. Let us depart for the Waking Sands, then, and see if Uriange can be of assistance. Uriange. She seems a little more humble than her brother, although her brother is working on it. He's definitely more humble than he used to be. <laughs> it always feels so strange coming back into this area, because we've been so long on the other side of the world. I fly here. <laughs> I can fly. Yo, Yalje, apologies for calling upon you unannounced. Wow, well, Master Alfredo, would that the, would that the scholar had been t -t -t today, Junior? Had seen to fit. Oh my gosh, I can't read what he says. Why, Master Alfredo, would that the scholar had seen fit to grant me knowledge of thy coming, what bringeth thee and thine here this day? The warriors of darkness have returned. Pray allow us to explain. They keep bullying us. I too have heard tales in recent days of primals being rise primal beings rising up only to be cast down by forces unknown. Alas, as thou didst observe, this serveth but to spur the beast tribes to pursue their goals with redoubled fervor. We have two objectives at this time. To identify and remove the source of the Beast Tribe's crystals and to take direct action to prevent any further summoning rituals from reaching completion. The second is easier said than done, of course. What we were fortunate enough to learn of the Ixal's plans before they came to fruition, I should be surprised if the Warriors of Darkness and the Askians did not have similar designs elsewhere of which we have no knowledge. Thou wert wise to come hither, for this very day did I receive tidings most troubling from across the Strait of Merthyr. Ogumoro stirreth, and there are whispers that the Lord of Crags neareth his return. We are rumors, mark thou, but in light of thine own discoveries, thou canst ill afford to turn a deaf ear to their claims. I. We must ascertain the truth of the matter for ourselves. Let us consult with the Maelstrom forces stationed at Camp Overlook, bro. 
Thank you for your counsel, Yao Zhe. Pray inform us should you learn aught else. I shall. If I may, brother, your Yao Zhe, is there anything else you would like to say? Uh oh. I'll just say. If not, then never mind. I only ask because you are normally rather more verbose. Nothing to add? Very well. Ere we depart, I wish to make a request. The Warriors of Darkness spoke of how the Otter had the power to break down the barriers between planes. That our worlds might be rejoined. I would ask that you research this for us. Being nowhere near as well read as you, I'm sure I wouldn't know where to begin. That said, I have heard tell of a promising tome, the Garun Oracles. Maybe you should start there. Jaron Oracles? She's on to him. By thy leave. Camp Overlook, was it? Very well. <laughs> it's like this crazy girl. See ya, Doug! Seven hells at this rate, I'll have to appeal to Maelstrom Command for reinforcements. Hmm? Whatever it is, we don't want any. How rude. How rude! Well, fancy that. Just when my cobalt problems look like coming to a head, the scions of the seventh dawn turn up, itching to pitch in. Bloody brilliant timing is what it is. Right then, let's get to it. So what we got, what we got going on? <laughs> So our friendly neighbors in Ugamoro have got much more aggressive of late, just as you said. Matter of fact, our scouts spotted one sniffing about the stores just now, likely looking to make off with an armful of crystals. I'll be damned if I'm about to let that happen. Lend a hand and help us search the camp for the little bugger, would you? A mess from friends seemed notably more agitated than when we first arrived. Do you happen to know why that might be? There's the little bugger running around. A kobold in the camp, you say? That would appear to corroborate Oriol J's information, yes, but to be so reckless as to infiltrate a maelstrom camp and draw attention to their efforts is passing strange. Well, there will be time to think on this later. For the present, we must do everything in our power to prevent Titan's summoning. And that means finding and questioning this kobold. Buddy, want a ride? Gasp. Oh, great. Stinking fates. They just add extra distractions. St stay back! Wait! Far back! I'm not a... Not a... God, it's no use! Pointless! Hopeless! No use! What are you? You're not a what? Hey, little buddy. Please don't hurt me. I only wish to talk. Just, yes, just, just talk. I, I, ah! Took a while to find him. He's so little. This was a stupid plan. Stupid, stupid, stupid. But if I tell no one, then everyone will. Gosh, he found me again. What to do, what to do, what to do. Uh, I come in peace, only to talk. Speak, say, talk. So please, please do not hurt me. So this is our wily kobold infiltrator, is it? No wonder the soldiers were on edge. He could very well give one a bruised knee. Hurrah, we've got to find work, Scions. So, little one, thought you could sneak into my camp, did you? Plotting to steal my crystals, were you? No, 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 I came to talk, to ask for help. 
But when your soldiers saw me, they drew their weapons and shouted that I... I... Now, now, let us all take a deep breath and discuss this like civilized individuals. What is your name, child? Pikman Gabu of the 620th Order. At least, I will be a Pikman one day. Well met, Gabu. I am Alpha Noah, and this is my sister, Alizé. Burr, the woman who found you, is our friend. And now that you know our names, we can be friends too. Now, Commander Blurden Theater thinks you wanted to take his crystals, Gabu, but you said you came to ask for help. Why to us and not to your own people? What happened, Gabu? Can you tell us? I... um... Uh, er... <laughs> No one is going to hurt you, all right? Not while we're here, I promise. The the patriarch, he, he's... The patriarch is going to summon the great father again, and you have to stop him. Beat him. Fight him. Stop him. <laughs> stop him! Down with the patriarch. To be honest, when I found out the patriarchy wasn't about horses, I lost interest anyway. Gabu's parents said they didn't want it, along with many others, but the patriarch wouldn't listen. He was so angry, raging, fuming, angry. He said that if they didn't have iron in their hearts, they would serve as coal for the furnace. And then, coke for the furnace. And then the guards took my parents and the others away, and I haven't seen any of them since. Coke for the furnace. I do not want to believe it, but I've heard tales of funky fashion from the bones of beastmen, which worshippers use in their rituals, hoping to summon more powerful incarnations of their gods. By the twelve, that is, that is sickening. No one listens to Gabu, no matter how much he cries, pleads, begs, cries. They do not listen, only talk about punishing the overdwellers and praising the great father. Gabu loves the Great Father, but he loves his parents, too. So please, help Gabu stop the Patriarch and save his parents. Commander, advise Maelstrom Command that Titan summoning is imminent. Should the worst come to the worst, we will require their support. Time being of the essence, we three will attempt to infiltrate the Cobalt Stronghold, secure their crystals, and free the prisoners. Well, if you're sure, you'll forgive me if I don't seem optimistic. I have, I have faith that we may yet stop the ritual. We would truly have detected the associated etheric disturbance had Titan manifested already. But I cannot speak for the prisoners. Twelve have mercy that they would even c contemplate sacrificing their own flesh and blood. Brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers. Time is of the essence. We must see what else Gabu knows and formulate a plan without further delay. Well. Yeah, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. Alright, from uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.